Tonight, in the first part of my special report, we look at what it takes to be the number one DJ in the number one market. DC, 929. I have a cinema. I am a teacher. Your pal, how is? Hey. Hi, everybody. Wolfman Jack here. And I am Allison Steele. Radio royalty in the world's toughest market, where ratings reign supreme. And a man named Nielsen has toppled broadcasting's biggest barons. But in a game where everyone claims to be number one, a relative newcomer is the king of morning drive with more than a million and a half regular listeners. Oh, this is Scott. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't sound like you. Would you come in to the community bulletin board? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mark. What do you want? Michael Scott Shannon, disc jockey extraordinaire and program director at WHTZ-FM, home of the hits. Shannon Captains, an on-air staff, lovingly known as the Morning Zoo. Boy, didn't you used to be a disc jockey when you were just a young guy? Yeah, I worked in some big markets. I really Name did. Name too. Like what? Yeah, like what? Oh, I have uh, A&P, ShopRite. <laughs> Scott Shannon sailed into a small Secaucus radio station in 1983. He gave it new call letters, a top 40 format, and took the station from worst to first in just 72 days. Well, the first thing it takes is an awful lot of hard work. And the other thing that I believe is important is to surround yourself with very, very good people. I really have a dedicated crew at the whole radio station. It's like a, just a family. As zookeeper, Shannon's hand-picked the zoo zanies. Ross Britton, Shannon's sidekick and main morning man. J.R. Nelson, zoo producer and all-around creative spirit. Claire Stevens, newswoman and horrible scope reader. Professor Bell, in charge of public service announcements. And then there's the professor's assistant, the elusive Mr. Leonard. He uh, never comes in for work. He's always sicker than a dog. He occasionally <laughs> shows up. And he's always getting into some kind of trouble. Good morning, Z100. If you want my body, and you think I'm sexy. L Mr. Leonard, where the heck are you? You're supposed to be into work by now. Well, I thought this was a national holiday, dear Ross. No, no, no. It's just Rod Stewart's 40th birthday. <laughs> Shannon created the zoo concept in Tampa, Florida, where it was a wild success. Scott Shannon he is probably the best program director in the United States of America, as well as being one of the finest air personalities in the world. But we don't do radio like anybody else. We do it very unusual. And uh, our radio is not for radio people or professionals in the media. Our radio is for the people. So what else does it take to be number one in morning drive, the time slot that really counts in radio? We hope it comes off as a spontaneous, witty, humorous show, but the preparation is behind it. It's a lot of work, by a lot of standards. We're actually producing all the, the phony commercials that you hear, all the phony songs, uh, kibitzing back and forth, uh, the phone calls, and so on and so forth. And here's your clue. What? <laughs> what? you got to be kidding, Ross. Maybe, maybe Did you play again. something, Ross? Right, I'll, I'll do it again here. Now, everybody be quiet. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, you know. Pretty hard, huh? No. All right, I'll give you another clue. The stakes are high. The game, to lure 17 million potential listeners to the dial and to keep them there. The payoff, loyal fans. Hey, you want to talk to Lloyd Lindsay Young? Here's your big opportunity. Now that Shannon and the zoo have conquered Morning Drive, they're not afraid of the competition. My friend, Don Honest. Yeah. Hey, watch this. If you're listening, Don, you owe me 50 bucks, and I want it here tomorrow. Will Don Imus pay up? Find out tomorrow when we talk to the outrageous, incomparable Imus in the morning. A sleaze bag. I'm what? A sleaze bag. I'm a sleaze bag? Yes. Oh, thank you very much, dirtball. You're ruining my reputation. Do the cars. What little there is of it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, your reputation is on a wall at the Lone Star Cafe. A real genius coming up tomorrow night. Don Imus on News 9 Primetime. Later this week, we'll be hearing from Howard Stern, John Gambling, The Wolfman. Allison Steele, and a whole bunch more with our hot DJs. Including one of my parents' favorites, William B. Williams. William B. Williams, WNEW. He'll be along with us. Okay. Many others.